Hey, how's it going everyone? So, hey, glad to be back. I know it's been a while since uh, we did any kind of safety inspections. We really just haven't had a lot of uh, mobile suits coming through lately, but with the war picking up, you know, it's, hey, we gotta go ahead and get out there and, uh, you know, do our due diligence and start, you know, inspecting all these equipment. So, we got a new piece of uh, MS over here. It looks like it's an RX-78 type of uh, MS, but it doesn't have the serial anywhere in here. It just says, uh, La Gundam. Uh, I guarantee you it was, a, it was probably a goddamn kid that named this thing. It's a kid. I don't know what else I was expecting. Alright, so anyway, uh, looks like this is the Nagata mode. So it has the standard beam rifle and the standard backpack and the beam sabers. Uh, but it looks like they're requesting for an upgrade to the full La Gundam mode. Uh, I don't know what that means, but uh, whenever we go through all the uh, little safety checks and everything, we'll get all that new equipment in, and then we'll do the conversion, and we'll do a safety check on that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just talk about the overview. So honestly, this is just an RX-78. Uh, looks like it's a toned-down version of it, but it has, like, some extra armor, and the V-fin is kind of, like, really wonky. I don't know why you put four little fins on there. I, I don't know the purpose. Uh, but I was told that the pilot is from Hawaii and a lot of this is kind of inspired by the sun, hence La, which I guess is sun, so I don't know man, it's kind of weird, but hey, people have their own personal preferences and they're going to pilot their mobile suits how they want to pilot their mobile suits. Um, this is war, I would think that maybe your personality shouldn't really be on your equipment, but hey, anyways, he, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. The overall articulation's fine. You're not really gonna have double joints in this thing. Uh, so the manipulators, they're they're just going up and down. There's not really much of a, a you know firm, solid you know range of movement, but it does it does the job, honestly, guys. Like I'm not gonna give it any kind of hits. It's doing the job. We can look up and down. It can move all around. It has pretty good waist articulation. So uh, I think whenever it's going out there and you know when it's relying on its mobility, hey, it's gonna be doing good. Now talking about the weapons, it is going to have your standard beam rifle, so and, and no, no problems with that whatsoever. It looks good, it's a standard beam rifle. Next is going to have its beam sabers, so it has uh, two in the backpack, you know, standard RX-78-2 stuff. Alright, now for the shield, it's called the La Shield. I, why you had to call it the La Shield, I don't, I don't get it. But uh, yeah, it's basically just a half size shield, that's all it really is, so yeah, it's it's his own little design, no problem with that. Alright, so now that we covered the basic weaponry, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the conversion to all the new weapons, and we're going to cover all that. And there's actually a new backpack, so it might take a little bit, but hey, let's go ahead and uh, get that all sorted out. Uh, honestly, the backpack's pretty cool. It's got a new little design. Uh, I'm guessing that the thr thruster output is a little bit better, but I haven't got the actual information, so my assumption is that it has a little bit of a thruster output and you know, enhancement. Next, we're going to take a look at the Beam La Rifle. He's really just putting that La in everything he can, huh? That's that's what kids do. You know, they don't they don't care about you know serialized or just standard you know names. They just they care about putting their personality into it. It's cute, whatever. Anyways, yeah, the Beam La Rifle. It's it's it just has an enhanced scope. It's red. All right, whatever. Let's move on. Move on. All right, the next weapon is going to be the Beam Naginata. So, yeah, it's basically like a giant staff, a lot like the spear that it has. Um, but, yeah, it can split into two, so it's kind of like Tonfas. Uh, it can split into two, mounted on the backpack, but it has a nice little, like, beam kind of, um, you know, spearhead. And uh, you can use the other one to kind of, like, do some little jabbing, but... I, I, me personally, I probably would have kept the beam sabers. I think that's just more versatile. Um, but these can connect and just make one large spear. Hey, that's his style. I'm not going to cram it. All right. But it looks to be pretty much it. So uh, let's go ahead and do a debrief. Honestly, this is a very, very personalized suit. Uh, it's not my thing. But I, I, it's fine for what it is. I mean, the kid has heart, you know. He, he tried to put his style in there. I think his colors are pretty off. He needs to learn some uh, some more color matching. But hey, he's he's very proud of his heritage from Hawaii. So you know, not gonna knock it. 
but honestly, it's it's a fine mobile suit. It's a, it's based on the RX 78-2. Honestly, you can't get better than that. That's a, that's a that's a beauty. It's a beauty out here. So uh, good on him, and uh, hope he does some good things out there. Uh, hope he doesn't get himself killed. It's 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 getting pretty rough. It's getting pretty rough out there. I mean, we got guys all over. We got some Titans people out there doing some crazy shit. So uh, hopefully he's out there uh, fighting a good fight. But that's it for me. Um, I, I don't recommend trying to go out here and making your own personal stuff like as crazy as that. But honestly, you can put a little spice into it. But that's it for me. Uh, thanks for coming out. I hope I see y'all again in the next safety inspection. Bye-bye.